Today, we are making homemade mayonnaise, and let me tell you, it's so thick and creamy. Look at that. Let's get started. The main ingredient is the oil. So you wanna choose an oil that is very neutral in flavor. That's why we use avocado oil. You can also use extra light tasting olive oil. We like to use a pint size wide mouth mason jar to mix the mayonnaise in. And that is because we're gonna use an immersion blender and this fits right into it and makes it super, super easy. And also on the side of the mason jar is measurements. So you don't need to break out a measuring cup because you just need to find where it says six ounces on the side and that is three quarters of a cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that. Next, we are going to add an egg yolk, not the whole egg. I used to make it with a whole egg, but I found this is much thicker and creamier if you just use the egg yolk. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in and that has been sitting at room temperature. It just helps things mix better if everything's room temperature. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna add is a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Whoops, I just squirted mustard everywhere. Hold on. Oh, me, oh my. Okay, let's start over with the mustard. Okay, we have some Dijon mustard, and the way that I remember how much mustard to put in is it needs to be the same size as that egg yolk. So that's about a tablespoon. Okay, we are going to put in a half teaspoon of lemon juice. And I've already got some squeezed out there, and then we're gonna put a teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar, really just any vinegar you want. Now we have our salt. This is my preference. I have found out that if I put a quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch, that's the perfect amount for me. You just take the immersion blender and you wanna stick it down all the way to the bottom. You're going to pull the trigger and you're gonna let this sit on the bottom for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then after you start seeing the mayonnaise get white and emulsify, you're gonna pull the immersion blender up and down until it's fully blended. I like to lift it up because there's gonna be like some oil on the top and then kind of put it back in. And sometimes you have to do that just a few times. At this point, if you want to taste it to see if you wanna add any more seasonings to it, it's perfectly fine to do that and give it another blend. I like to transfer it to a smaller container and I like to just kind of give it a nice stir and just make sure it's nice and creamy. And you can see that it's just really thick. And look, it even stays on the spoon when I turn it upside down. It will stay in your fridge good for up to five days. That's how you make homemade mayonnaise really quick. Make some and let me know what you think.